I do agree that the markets had a big rally, so I wouldn't be surprised if we get a pullback near term. Uh, but I think that what happened in December was an ex the market sold off extremely from mid-December till right before Christmas, and that was all about you know, tax loss selling, mutual fund, hedge fund liquidation. I think that accentuated the downside a lot more than it should have. So I don't think we're going to have this big retest of that low. I think the market can pull back because it's had a, had a very big bounce, but I don't, I, I don't see a retest. And as it pertains to China, I mean, I, I do think there is some resolution out there, but in terms of from a investing in China, I think there's a much other story going on, which is the Chinese government is stimulating their economy and, and people should focus on that. Right. Or, or trying to. Um, every day yeah, it seems exactly. like it brings a fresh liquidity injection or something that they're doing to try to muddle through here. But people wonder whether those internal contradictions will ultimately collapse. And I guess we can't solve that right now. So in, in your point of view, focused on the markets, would you rather have the president come to some kind of deal by March 1, um, Alan Tonelson earlier said he takes a longer term view. He wants the big thorny issues resolved. But from your point of view, would you rather just kind of have the positive well, headlines keep coming? Yeah, I mean, I think it, it would help uh, stocks in both markets. Uh, uh, but I do think that, you know, when you think about the playbook of investing, the old rule is, you, you know, you, you start markets stop worrying when politicians start worrying. And, you know, China reflects a lot of bad news and the politicians are worrying by monetary and fiscal stimulus. That, that, that's the playbook right there of when to invest in a market. So, yeah, short term, I think that would be good for both markets. But I do think China is a particularly intriguing place to invest, given, you know, it is it's it's starting to react better even when there's short term bad news on the trade war. So answer, uh, if you wouldn't mind, Andrew, our first guest this hour who sees this as a bear market bounce, number one. Number two, that we're in a bear market like 2000, 2001, where stocks will go down 30, 40, maybe even 50 percent, and that a recession is all but a certainty in 2019, 2020, and a debt crisis. Well, we had a 19 percent decline. Maybe, maybe recessions aren't embedded in stocks. It seems to me that 2018, 18, was more like 2011 and 2015, which is we came into those years with very strong returns, high sentiment, high economic expectations. We didn't have very good years. Multiples regressed lower. Sentiment ended the years lower, and 2012, 2016 ended up pretty good years. We have washed away too much positive sentiment. So I think this year will be a better year for equities with lower right. valuations. 